Hey guys, so I got a request again to do a comparison between the uh, Galaxy A7 2017 and the iPhone 7 Plus. So we're going to uh, start them at the same time and see how they do compare here. And uh, power them off. I would say the A7 definitely makes more use of its uh, like uh, form factor here. Both are about the same size, but it just looks like you're getting much more in terms of the screen real estate obviously the a7 uh, is uh, much cheaper it's like I think half the price pretty much both come with waterproofing and fingerprint sensors I think the camera will be a little bit better on the iPhone because it is a more expensive device overall but I wouldn't say the screen is I'd say the screen definitely goes to the a7 in terms of the colors etc uh, we're going to just open up a few apps here nice uh, light ones just to see if we can see any differences here and so far it looks like the iPhone is a little bit snappier as I would expect uh, messaging so we did see last year the A5 2016 uh, keeping up with the iPhone success pretty much uh, but not so much this year you can see the Raw speed is definitely going to the iPhone this year, uh, comparing with the A series, uh, which is a little bit disappointing, you know. I would like to see uh, good performance given the price of the A7. And let's try game here. Yeah, you can see straight in there on the right uh, what else do we have so let's try and uh, wow we don't have the same games here that uh, is uh, not very helpful uh, but maybe we can do a something else here let's have a look uh, so we tried that before uh, we don't have that as well so uh, instead we're just going to go straight into the browsing comparison uh, just to see how they do compare here so let's uh, go to Daily Mail and go yeah no comparison again here you can see the iPhone much faster to load the pictures and the actual web page uh, it's like night and day really so that uh, you know again I would like to have seen I think uh, a more higher end processor they could have definitely used the Galaxy S6 processor I think in the new A series it is an older one or the Note 5's processor uh, so yeah again you can see let's try some uh, multitasking here we don't have much open so uh, I don't think uh, it's going to be too different but maybe we'll get some reloading no so I don't think we're going to get too much reloading very nice and smooth on both of them both of them actually come with 3 gigs of RAM so you know they shouldn't be too much in the way of issues here the iPhone does seem to be a little bit faster though in terms of the responsiveness if you ask me uh, when you are actually multitasking so that uh, is something to consider also you are running the latest software on the iPhone uh, we're only getting uh, Android Marshmallow here uh, which is a bit disappointing 
you know, I would like to see uh, the latest software, but you do get multitasking, obviously, support, which is good. And uh, the camera as well, which gives you some nice pro modes, etc. Uh, but overall, I think uh, the iPhone gives you more value for money. You know, it is a little bit more expensive, yes, but uh, it, to me, it seems that the A7 could have brought a more powerful processor, at least, and a better camera to the table. Uh, yes, you are getting slightly uh, better screen. Uh, and waterproofing on both but the back is uh, very fragile as well you know I think Samsung well, Samsung should uh, stop using this uh, fragile kind of material and go with a more uh, durable build quality overall uh, if you ask me and also why don't we have like a dual camera setup on the latest Samsung phones because every other manufacturer has that it gives you you know very nice bokeh ability and stuff which you can't do with just one camera just little pet peeves here uh, overall I do like the a7 but I think uh, the 7 plus here is the man at the end of the day uh, so yeah, just a quick video here. Hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers